Hey everyone, welcome to another video lesson from Navigation Trading. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about how to simulate short stock using options. Now, there are a lot of stocks out there that you can simply just short outright, but there are also several reasons why you may want to use options to short the stock instead of just using stock outright. So before we jump into that, I want to go over a couple things in relation to shorting stock. Then we'll jump onto the platform and go over some actual examples. So to start with, what is shorting or short selling? The answer is when a trader borrows shares and he immediately sells them with the intent to profit by buying them back at a lower price, that's what's known as shorting. So traditionally, when you buy stock, you want to buy low and sell high. And when you're shorting stock, it's just the opposite. You want to sell high and buy it back lower. And so you can just think of short equals sell and long equals buy. So if you buy stock, that's the same as being long stock. If you sell stock, that's the same as being short stock. One question I get a lot and, and things that I hear is that short selling is more risky than buying stock. Now, the regulators and people who say that say that for this reason, and that is, theoretically, a stock can only drop to zero. So if you buy a stock, if you buy one share for $100 of a stock, the most you can lose is $100. But theoretically, a stock can go up forever. So if you short a stock at 100, theoretically, it could go to 1,000 and keep going. And so that's why they say that shorting is more risky than buying a stock. But the reality of trading is A, stocks don't go up forever, and you can always get out or play stops. There's a lot of things you can do to mitigate that risk. So you shouldn't be scared of shorting stock. It's no different from a risk-reward standpoint than buying stock in general. So a couple things you wanna know about shorting stocks as far as terminology. One, shorting stock outright can only be done in a margin account. I don't know of any brokers that allow you to short stock in an IRA. So if you are planning to go short a stock, you do wanna have a margin account. And then a couple of things you'll see on your brokerage platform is related to shorting stock. There's easy to borrow, ETB, hard to borrow, HTB, and none to borrow, NTB. Let's go to the platform and I'll show you exactly what those mean. So here's a, here's a ticker symbol that I found that has stock that is none to borrow, BHP. I have no idea what this company does, but what you'll see right here is NTB, and that stands for none to borrow. And all that means is this stock is not shortable. There's no outstanding shares for you to borrow to be able to short this stock. So you wouldn't be able to short this stock. Let's take a look at another example of DDD. Uh, this is 3D Systems Corporation. And what you'll see up here is that it says HTB, which is hard to borrow. So what that means is that there are not shares just readily available for you to borrow and short by clicking and selling the shares like you would here, you would actually have to contact your broker. They would have to locate a certain number of shares for you to allow you to short the stock. And lastly, let's take a look at a more popular stock, a more highly traded liquid stock like Facebook, for example. And what you'll see here is you're going to see the acronym ETB or easy to borrow. And so that means that shares are readily available to short. If you wanted a short Facebook stock, you could simply just sell as many shares as you wanted and you know hit confirm and send just as if you were buying a stock, but the opposite direction, and you could make that happen. So again, there's easy to borrow, which are readily available shares that you can short any time. There's hard to borrow, which means there may or may not be shares available. You just have to contact your broker to check with them. And there is none to borrow, meaning you cannot short that stock. So let's say that you wanted to short a stock, but you had an IRA account. And remember what I said is there aren't any brokers that I am aware of out there that allow you to short stock in your IRA. What if we took a look at Facebook, for example, and you wanted to get short this stock? What options do you have? Well, first off, let's take this stock and analyze it. This is a short stock position. And what you'll see is, if you look at this right here, 
Obviously, this is the profit line, and so if the stock is going down, that's when you're making profit. And if it's going up, that's when you're losing profits. And so that's kind of the visual graph of shorting a stock, right? You make money if it goes down, you lose money if it goes up. So let's take a look at what we can do to simulate shorting stock using options. Let's just go to the options with 52 days to expiration. We like to typically put on positions with 30 to 60 days. So that fits right into our wheelhouse. And all you have to do if you're trying to simulate shorting options is you can sell a call and Facebook is currently trading at about $176. So let's call it 175 since these strikes are five points wide. So we could simply sell the call and then let's take that over to the analyze tab. And then we can come back to the trade tab and we can buy a put of the very same strike. Okay. So let's take this over to the analyze tab. So what you're seeing here is we are selling a call at the 175 strike and we are buying a put at the 175 strike. And now look what your P&L graph looks like. Almost identical to that of shorting stock, right? If the stock goes down in price, you're making money. If the stock goes up in price, you are losing money. Now, the other benefit to using options versus stock is that if we just hit confirm and send on the short stock piece, if you're going to short 100 shares of Facebook, it's going to cost you about $7,500, almost $7,600 in buying power. Well, if you buy and sell the option like I'm showing you here, it's going to cost you about 30 to 40% less in buying capital. So you're using leverage of the options to use less capital. So that's one benefit. The other is, as I mentioned, you cannot short stock in an IRA. So you, you might want to use options for that reason. And then there are a variety of other reasons that options are a little bit more flexible to trade with than individual stock, which it's beyond the scope of this video, but there are a lot of different things that you can do with options that you just can't do with stocks outright to increase your probability of success. So that's an example of doing it in a stock that's easy to borrow. So it, you know, if you're not in an IRA, it would be just as easy to short the stock or use the options. It's, it's, it's more of a preference and an efficiency use of capital decision. But going back to the stock that we looked at, BHP, where if we look here, it's none to borrow. You can't even borrow shares of that. So shorting the stock outright isn't even an option. So if you did want to get short this symbol, what you would have to do is use options by you doing it exactly like we did in Facebook. You can see the price is trading right at about $49. So you could simply sell the call and we'll take that over to the analyze screen. We'll go back to the trade tab and we will buy the put of the exact same strike, the 49. Take that over to the Analyze tab, and there you go. You've got a very close simulation of selling stock short using options. Remember, the stock market goes up and it goes down. There's no reason to limit yourself to only long positions where you benefit if the price of the stock or that market goes up. You need to have these different strategies at your disposal because there are times where you're going to want to either hedge your overall positions using short stock or short simulated stock using options, and you need to have these strategies at your disposal. I hope this was helpful in helping you learn how to short stock using options. See you in the next lesson.